to shoot tutorial guys on uh, putting some animations on your on shape uh, assemblies. All right, so here's uh, the C perch right now. I've got my propellers on the motors. Uh, I used a Revolute Mate on all of those. That's going to cause them to be able to rotate. Okay, so right now, if I kind of grab one of them, I can. I should be able to kind of spin it, and you kind of see they're all moving together. Uh, in order to do that, what I want to do is create a gear uh, relation. Okay, so the the way to do that, it's right here. There's a button right here. It says gear relation. Uh, when you first click on that, <clears throat> what you're going to want to do is select two mates that you want to connect. Okay, so in this case, I have Revolute 2 and 3. So these motors are going to be kind of connected. And then um, I just kept the ratio as 1. And in this case, I actually did a reverse direction because uh, if you kind of think of the way gears work, is that as one turns clockwise, the other one will turn counterclockwise and vice versa. And so by reversing it, um, you'll actually get them to go in the same direction. Uh, so that's kind of how I have that set up. Hit the check mark there. And then lastly, I want my third motor to also um, move with the other two. So I just set up one more gear relationship. Uh, the gear relationships only go between two uh, mates. And so I have my other two, this Revolute um, mate here with this Revolute mate. Again, same relationship. I did not reverse the direction in this case. If you want to, you can. If you want that one to go the other direction. Okay, so I hit the check mark there. And then finally, to get these to actually start rotating, I'll change my view here a little bit. I'm going to go to any of my Revolute mates and right click on it, go over here to animate. And then I'm going to have it go from 0 to 360 degrees. And then uh, the number of steps is just talking about how fast you want it to go. And so, for example, if I change it to 50 uh, there, uh, the other option here, playback type, is if you want it to only go once, if you want it to go back and forth, or if you want it to loop continually. Um, so for something like a, a propeller, you probably want it to loop. And then as soon as I hit play here, uh, you'll see that it will start rotating and I get my, my nice propeller motion shown there. Uh, at this point, <clears throat> if you want to, you can uh, kind of take a little screen capture, screen video of this. Um, you can either use the Screencast-O-Matic tool. Uh, this is probably the easiest if you're using Google Chrome. That's this one right here. Um, I might set up a separate tutorial for this, but essentially you can go <clears throat> create an extension or you can go find this extension that will allow you to record the screen. Um, you can do it as you know browser tab or desktop. So right now the desktop, you hit record, record it for you know 10 seconds, throw it up on YouTube and you can submit that as your uh, recording.